So for arc length and area of a sector, this, this is kind of like going back to geometry, but we're talking about using figuring out the circumference and area of a circle, but only a, a part of it at a certain angle. So kind of doing this with trigonometry since we're talking about things at angles. Um, so in this picture, the S, so a lot of times we use S to denote the arc length. So the distance from this point to this point, that curve, that's the arc length. So, and we even did this in some of the geometry problems, but it was always like exactly half or exactly three quarters, and we can just um, multiply by half or multiply by three quarters or one quarter. Um, so this, if we have different angles where it's not just perfect like that, we can use these formulas. Um, so A is the angle, R is the radius, um, D will be the diameter. There's one version that has the diameter. Um, so to figure out this example, we're going to determine the arc length in order to cut a pipe. So we, you know, maybe we, we have to do a cut here and here. We'd have to use like a soft tape measure to figure out how far that needs to go. So we know the angle needs to be 135 degrees. The diameter of the pipe is eight and a half. Okay, so we've got, I'm going to kind of redraw this with 135 degrees so it looks more to scale. So 135 degrees, so somewhere about here. So this is 135. Um, the diameter, like if this kept going, the diameter is one and a half. Okay, or how the pipe starts off would be all the way around, but we want just that um, part of it. Um, so if the diameter is 8.5, then the radius will be 4.25. Jot that down right away. So to figure out the arc length, um, I'm going to go off of actually the S equals A divided by 360 pi times D. Because um, what this really is doing, it's saying 135 out of the 360 full degrees. Okay, so it's 135 out of the full around, full degrees around. So it's getting that portion of the full circle and then we take that times the circumference so pi times diameter so pi times 8.5 okay so 135 divided by 360 and then times pi times 8.5 is 10.0138 10.0138 so pretty much right on I mean, if you're measuring to the nearest even 30 second, this is going to be an even 10 inches, which looks about right that this would be 10 inches because if the diameter is 8.5, that curve is going to make it a little longer. So that looks looks um, reasonable. OK, now if I also wanted to find the area of the sector, it's called. So let me switch to red here, area of the sector. So if I fill this in, like what what's that area, maybe you know, it's instead like a sheet of metal and I have to figure out the weight of it. So if I take the degrees, the angle, 135 divided by 360 times pi times radius squared. So here I have to use the 4.25. Okay, so again, pi r squared is the full area. So I'm just taking the angle that I have out of 360. So it's getting that portion of the full circle. So 135 divided by 360 times pi times 4.25 squared is 21.2, let's go 21.28. Two decimal points would be enough for this. 21.28. And since it's an area and I squared inches, I'm going to be left with square inches or inches squared.